Hi guys, so I'm back with another unboxing of more of the Red Sleeve merch. And today I have the script book. Um, and it's still sealed. I bought this off of G Market through Yes24. Um, you can see the plastic isn't holding that well. Um, but I wanted to just share what this looks like and what all the um, nice goodies that it comes with, which I want to say our first press only, um, but I'll double check that. Um, but yeah, so this is the third um, item from the Red Sleeve collection. Um, the last thing I have left on pre-orders is the official Blu-ray. So I'm thinking, uh, because that's not going to come out for a while still, I don't think, I'm going to do a binder organization video putting away all of the Red Sleeve cards um, that I've acquired these last few weeks. So if you want to see that um, sooner rather than later, let me know. Um, but anyway, let's get into the script book. So I'm just remove the plastic that's already starting to peel away. And so there are four different items here. Um, the script book was divided into two separate volumes and it's all going to be in Korean but just to share what they look like inside um, yeah, because you do have some photos it looks like and um, I wouldn't buy this just for the photo book um, since these are very thin pages even thinner than the first press photo essay and um, the picture quality um, isn't as crisp, but um, you just have some nice, looks like watercolor um, paintings of the scene. Um, so that's a very nice touch to add. Um, and then it goes into the script. And let's see if there's anything else interesting. It's not just text. Um, it looks like there's some pink pages between the different chapters. And I think I saw someone on Twitter mention that the script book doesn't follow exactly what um, was in the broadcasted drama. So I'm curious if um, we'll see some of this dialogue in the official Blu-ray, um, since that's supposed to be a director's cut version. Okay, and then here's an advertisement of the actual um, novel and um, Amwa. So yeah, so this is the first book. Now this is the second book. Let's see if it starts with a nice watercolor. Okay, so it looks like it's the same images in front. have some more diagrams about the dynamics of all the characters. Um, let's see. I think there was anything before that. Yep, in the same sort of format. And there might be something in the back here. Some black and white photos of the cast and um, team. Uh, some printed signatures of the cast. So we have Jun Ho's, that's Sans. Um, I don't recognize the other signatures. Um, probably the other needs and then the same advertisement so yeah so these are nice um i unfortunately can't read this very easily um I, I know a lot of people buy these intending to practice their um korean but yeah i don't i don't have time for that unfortunately but i think these are pretty and i think i'm just going to keep them on my shelf as just commemorative pieces 
Um, but the main reason why I bought these was, of course, for the cards. So I'm going to open up the photo cards first. So we have this clear card. Oops. Um, you can see a little better. Um, I want to say this is the page from the Forbidden Book, but I could be wrong. Um, here is San, um, Jun Ho's character, um, during the scene where he, well, I guess if you haven't seen the red sleeve, um, I might drop some spoilers right now, but, um, this is based off of one of the scenes where, um, San, uh, was put into isolation in his room. Um, we have a nice quote on the back there. And then... Um, Sang's character came and read to him outside his door, so he wouldn't just go stir crazy with loneliness. And then here is their, it's gonna focus, there you go, the couple card. Um, and so, uh, these cards are much glossier than the previous cards we got. Um, I think it'll be obvious when I put them away in that organization video I mentioned earlier. Now this, um, these are, I think, postcards or they're kind of like mini posters. So, um, I'll go through these. So it opens this way and you can slide out all of the cards from the top there. And this is, I think, these might be the same messages as back here. Let's see. The same messages, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go through these one by one because there are a lot of them. And it looks like, let me confirm before I start. Yeah, they're all gonna be just plain on the back. There's so many of these, I will need to figure out. I might just have to get you knows and put it away in his acting section of the binder, but, and then just keep everything else inside that little folder. Uh, but the print quality of this is really nice. Um, these are nice and thick, um, and they have a nice um, kind of touch to them. Yeah, it's nice that we have postcards of the entire cast and with multiple cards too. So that's nice to see. And they chose some pretty nice photos, I think. Oh, they are all ladies. So here's everything. Um, that is it for this unboxing. As I mentioned, my next video is probably going to be putting away all the cards from the OST, the photo essay, and the script book. Um, so be on the lookout for that and see how I organize everything. Um, and I'm not anticipating too many additional things in the Blu-ray. Usually for those, they just send a postcard set and maybe a photo card or two. Um, but I'm not sure when the details uh, will be released on what's exactly going to be in the Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, that's not going to come for quite a while now. Um, for those who also watch my other TPM related videos, um, I'm still waiting on my Moment uh, merchandise to arrive. Oakfit still hasn't shipped it yet, which is really sad and a little bit alarming. So I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with that order. And um, the season's greetings are also on the way, so that'll probably be the next unboxing um, I'll do on this channel. But yeah, um, until next time, bye guys. <laughs>